So the idea of the video today then is a bit like my Fuji X-Pro free shoot where I hired that camera to see how it compares to my Olympus camera. I've hired the Brompton to see how it compares to my own folding bike. I always like folding bikes, I've had one for about 20 years, but I've never ridden a Brompton, so I want to see how this compares to my one. Just like seeing how the Fuji compared to my Olympus cameras. So today I'm riding from Salford Quays into the centre of Manchester. Now the idea is that I'm hoping that by being on bike I may find and discover areas of Manchester that I haven't been to before. That said, I have done so many visits to Manchester on foot, all, all different areas, that I don't think I'm going to come across anything that I haven't been to before. But it'd be a nice bike ride nonetheless. So I am sensibly wearing a bike helmet today, even though I hate wearing bike helmets. I hate wearing any type of hat actually, because, well, I just don't suit hats. How come some people look really cool in their bike helmets? Is it because they wear shades as well? I've got sunglasses, I'll put those on, see if they make me look a bit cooler. Put them on the outside of the straps, of course. How about that? Is that any better? No, not really. Never mind. So I have got some nice weather conditions this morning. I'm cycling and shooting into the sun at the moment, glistening on the water. And of course, you're gonna get these deep shadows and areas of sunlight as you go down this uh, the pathway. This, this is my first one. This is on the, the tramway track. A little bit of light streaming through, shadows are surrounding it. There's a triangle of light, a triangle I'm gonna capture. So I've got my camera in a, in a bum bag today. Um, it's an old one I've had for years, so it slides around the front when I want to get the camera out, slides around the back when, I, when I'm cycling. And today I'm using my EM1 with the 12 to 40 zoom, well, just for convenience really, for when cycling. The only thing I don't like particularly on the Brompton, well on this hired one, is there's no kickstand, so I'm always having to lean it up against the wall, up against some railings. I can't just leave it out there. I've got to find somewhere to lean it, so a kickstand for cycling in the city would be really useful. I've got one on my bike. So you've got a big streak of light coming down here on the graffiti, and there's one on there with shadow around it. And then we've got these shadows from these railings. That's created a lovely pattern there. So I'm gonna get that one as well. So quite a few shots to do from here. plus this tram coming through as well. Well, I've never photographed down here before. I've never walked out to here. I've only got to it because I'm cycling. So I think my theory's working already. these lovely lovely shadows or streaks of light that's what I'm after this morning all this captured in black and white exposed for the highlights wonderful
Now this looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So you've got the graffiti on that wall, reflection, almost perfect reflection of the, the bridge there. And then you've got this second bit of graffiti on my side of this canal. Got that tree overhanging in the middle, which you think you would do to one side so you don't block out that view down there. I've got to be careful not to fall in here, I'm right on the edge. But if I put it in the middle, I can see the graffiti over there on that side, which I think I prefer. It kind of separates the two graffitis. But it's looking wonderful. Never been down here before, never walked down here. Only by bike, this one. So possibly the main difference between my bike and the Brompton is that this Brompton only has 16 inch wheels whereas my bike has 20 inch wheels. This makes it great for folding up, this folds up so compact it's quite amazing. But for riding I don't think it's as comfortable or as secure as my 20 inch wheel folding bike which I love. I can take that anywhere but here those smaller tyres, especially if you get onto gravel, they can easily pinch and uh, bite into the gravel. And flat paths are okay. And if you need to fold it up and not want to lock it up and just keep, take it into your office, brilliant. But if you don't need to do that, if you just want a folding bike to get in the car that I do, I think, I think I still prefer my 20 inch wheel. And because of that, I wouldn't necessarily invest in this. This is the one I'm after, the Turn Verge P10. That's the bike I really want. Strip down, lightweight, sleek, and give any road bike a run for its money. I guess that is the other way to get down here to see this kind of views, to jog, but uh, nah, I, th I think I'll stick to biking. I keep missing them, I've just seen the tram go over that bridge which filled in that space above it. I keep missing them though, do, do I wait or do I move on? Timing is out today, I think I have to move on. I could be waiting here for half an hour for another tram down here. It's a shame though. But look at this, isn't this wonderful? Ah, oh, so I recognise this, I know where I am now. We're in the, uh, the Castlefield area of uh, Manchester, we're in the city centre now. Um, and I think, I think you can get up there, somewhere up there now. Not where the train is, but somewhere along there on that, there's a new walkway that's opened. So I'm going to see if I can get up there, do some shots where I've never done before. But let's go explore and just see if I can get some different shots in Manchester than I've done before. Now these next few views I have photographed before, but they're so good that it's always worth having another crack at them as I'm here. So this is the viaduct I was hoping to get onto, but I didn't realise it was National Trust. I didn't realise you had to book a place in advance, and I didn't realise it would be sold out on the day for the rest of the month and next month too. Oh well, I'm not going in here then.
Now I have been around here before and I have shot these lampposts before, but as I was down this area, I thought I'd come and do it again, put it on video and get some more shots. All these wonderful, wonderful lampposts. Of negatives on this bike it's got the uh the free speed internal hub i find the gearing too high i haven't got out of first gear i don't think at all in the city or since i've been riding it to do with some lower gears secondly these wheels i catch my foot probably because i've got such a big foot i catch my foot in there I almost come flying off as i catch my the wheel in the back of my shoe but apart from that it's not bad Now here's a gem of a location that I've never been to before and there's three shots I can do from here. One in the underpass with the overhead lamps. A view from this corner, hopefully with someone walking into the shot. And this one, my favorite, where you have a triangle of light with deep shadow and a street lamp at the top of the slope as a focal point. Of course, the great advantage of a Brompton is being able to fold it up instead of locking it up outside and possibly having it stolen so you can carry it into a cafe and order a coffee to go. Uh, flat white, please. Next, I found this corner of a junction, and look at that shaft of light coming in from the right. I just need one person to walk into view on that bit of pavement and that'll be my next capture. Almost done then, but maybe a reflection shot. After all, I have all this water in the canal to play with, but no, Let's use this teeny tiny puddle instead. So the cycling suite of choice for today is good old fruit pastel. Now the reason I like foldy bikes so much rather than a regular bike. Very cheery, hold on. Yeah, the reason I like the foldy bikes more than a regular bike, and I do have a, a regular mountain bike, is that I just find them much more fun to ride, and that's the whole point. Especially around the city, you can 
get it here quickly, get it in the car, but when I'm on it, I find it so much more fun to ride than the regular bike. So for me, it's ideal. Well, the process of hiring this bike wasn't as seamless as it should have been because on the day that I decided to hire it, the whole network had gone down, Brompton's network for picking up bikes. So there was a delay in me getting one, but I got one eventually. And it works just like the Amazon lockers. You pick it up with a code, take the bike out, and you can return it to any of the lockers that they have in the UK, not just the one you picked it up from. And it's just five pounds to hire for 24 hours, which for picking up a Brompton, hiring a Brompton, it's not that bad. And I've got mine for 48 hours. Well, I've run out of GoPro batteries, which is just as well, because there was a risk that this was about to become a cycling channel. So I'll leave it there and I'll see you next time probably without a bike.